Now, Jaigun, you get to go shopping. Let's read here. Find the change when Giganta buys four toy cars for 57 cents each and pays with 10 quarters. Okay. Where did you get the quarters? Oh, in his piggy bank. Okay, good. Four toy cars for 57 cents each. This time, I mean, I could do this with mental math, but I want to show you, I want to remind you how we add money amounts. So let's add the 57 cents here. Oh, it is zero dollars and 57 cents and we have four cars. So we will add this here four times. And these are dollar amounts. So we have seven, 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 seven. What's four times seven? 28. Yep. Then over here we have four times five. That's 20 and two. 22. And now you regroup or carry like that. And then we have $2. So the total is $2.28. He pays with 10 quarters. How much is 10 quarters? If you can't multiply, if you don't know how to multiply, then you could maybe solve it this way. Draw those 10 quarters. 4 quarters makes a dollar, right? So you can see here's a dollar. Here's another dollar. And this would be 50 cents, right? So $2.50. So he pays with $2.50. And his total is $2.28. What is the change? The difference between these numbers. Actually, it is just the difference between 28 and 50. Which is, you should be able to tell it is 22 cents. So, that is his change. Okay? Happy? Yeah, he wants to go playing. <laughs> now, Matt bought two batting gloves for 22.87 each. He paid with $50. What is his change? This is a fairly easy problem now, right? You know what to do, right? There's not that much to do either. You have to add to find the total and then figure out the change. Let's add again, okay? 22, 87. Just line up the numbers and the decimal points. And then we add, as usual, 7 plus 7 for P. Then 8 and 8 is 16 plus 1. 17. And regroup here, we get 5 and 4. So that's Matt's total for the two gloves. And now the change, we can add up from this amount. And I think that is even quicker. But I'm going to show you the other way of finding the change, which is subtract. To subtract, you take $50 and this number and subtract. Yeah. So we take $50. And then this one, $45, goes here, and then decimal point, 74. I need to put zeros here, though, okay, to have my $50. And now, when you're subtracting, you need to regroup with all those zeros, okay? So that's why this is actually even trickier, I feel, than mental math. But let's do it. So, 0 minus 4, you cannot do it. So. We go regroup, we need to go all the way to this 5 and leave 4 here, or $40, 4, $10. And then here we get 10. Then from the 10 we take 1, leaving 9, and over here we get 10. And then again, the same thing. Now we can subtract, we get 6, 2, 4, and that's it. Okay. And with the mental math, going back to that, we have 74 cents, okay? You would find, okay, 7 plus what makes 9, 4 plus what makes 10. You would find 26 cents, right? To add up to the next whole dollar, 26 cents, then you would be at $46. And then $4 more add to that to get to $50. So I much prefer mental math to find that the change would be $4.26. And we're all done with the shopping and with this lesson.